what is being looked forward to from a leader is, he should be able to see things that other people are not able to see. Leadership is not about you asserting yourself over somebody. It is about being able to harness everybody's aspirations and make it happen. What difference can you make in the world is no more in terms of charity. How innovative is your business? That's the business right now. The success, even in this business space, is about growth. How many people are you touching? How vast is your operations? This is the growth of a business, not necessarily how much gold have you kept. For the very first time, for the very first time in the history of humanity, we have the necessary resource, we have the necessary capability, we have the necessary technology to address every human problem on the planet. Even twenty-five years ago, we couldn't have dreamt of it. But the only thing that is missing is consciousness. We are producing enough food for seventeen billion people. We are only seven billion people, but close to half the population is starved. Not because resource is lacking, simply because consciousness is lacking. We are still thinking you versus me, we are not thinking we. Changing the consciousness of the leadership shouldn't take a long time if you find access to them. The only global mechanism on the planet is economic mechanism. Politics, military, religion, all these things are split up. Economy is one thing which bridges across all divides. Only an uh, economic leader can cross boundaries and go where he wants. A political leader cannot do it, a military leader cannot do it, a religious leader cannot do it. The only person who can really build what he wants across the globe is only the economic leader ultimately. In this effort, I've been… at one time I aimed at the political leadership. Then I found economic leaders are easier to work with. <laughs> more willing to change <laughs> and I think it's very important. The forum has done a fantastic job of putting these people together. Inclusiveness means making sure every human being on this planet has an active role to play in the economic process. Once you're a leader, the very way you think, the way you feel, the way you act, every single thing that you do affects millions of people. When such a privilege has been confer conferred upon an individual human being, I think it is a fundamental responsibility of every leader to do something about himself within himself, to elevate himself in whichever way possible. It's very, very essential today. In all these years of life, how many of you have passed through one twenty-four hour stretch, that is one single day, absolutely joyfully, without a single moment of irritation, agitation, pain, frustration? Twenty-four hours. Very few people on this planet can say yes to this, very few. If you have to manage a thousand minds, first of all, you must be able to manage yours, isn't it? You cannot manage your own mind. How are you going to manage one thousand minds? The only and the worst crime that you can commit in this world, in this life is, you did not explore the full depth and potential of life. Somebody decides what I should eat, what I should wear, where I should go, where I should not go, you call this slavery. But now somebody decides what should happen within me, is this not slavery? Anybody can make you go haywire any moment in your life? Yes, people can provoke you to do the… to lose your balance within yourself. So, if this doesn't change, your ability to master your destiny is very minimal. I would say, if you have mastery of your physical body, about fifteen to twenty percent of your destiny is in your hands. If you have mastery over your mind, about forty to fifty percent or sixty percent of your life and destiny is in your hands. If you have complete mastery, mastery over your life energies, then one hundred percent of your destiny is in your hands. The very process of life and death is in your hands. To that extent, 
one can take his destiny into his hands. But right now you're just thinking about everybody taking your cue and following the leadership the way you want it. You want your industry to go your way, you want your management to go your way, you want your family to go your way, even on that level. If you have much more control over your physical body, your mind, your emotion and your energies, you will see very easily the world will start following you rather than you being a slave of the situations, you start creating situations the way you want it. So this is an inner science. As there is an external science for external well-being, there is an inner science for inner well-being.